damn it. Welcome back to another Schooner and Hop beer review. We're sitting here today with a Brisbane, a Brisbane beer. We're not mm -hmm. with Brisbane. No, we're but not. But a beer from yeah. Brisbane. Yeah. The Newstead Brewing Co's Session Ale. They have recently go undergone some kind of label changing. Yep, and, and we think it's just beautiful. We like it. Look at that can. It's really nice. That's actually one of my points. Can is beautiful. Is the beer beautiful? Let's find out. Sorry, I didn't wait for you to have a sip. I'll go again. So by the name, Session Ale, uh, it's mid-strength. Yeah. Generally, Session Ales are mid-strengths. Generally, sometimes. Uh, this one actually is, which is a change from a lot of the other Session Ales we've had on so here previously. Just a change from a lot of craft beers we've had on here. Apparently, uh, um, yeah. the term craft also means full of alcohol. So, so I'm discovering it's just apparently the more yeah. percentage you can put in there, you will, you'll you'll yeah. do that. So yeah, it is a mid-strength, yeah. but it's still, uh, it cops a 32 IBU ranking. Yeah. And you can feel it. It is uh, punchy with a bitter hop yeah. uh, flavor. You so, knock, you even hit with a nice aftertaste of just bitter flavor. It's very but full it really, flavor. It really it's... makes you want to drink it again, Yeah, which is what I like in a session ale. That's exactly what the name should mean. Um, which we've discussed before. Yes. Uh, really cool, the flavor in this, um, because we have found that some session owls do lack on that, and maybe they think the the light of the flavor, I suppose they're just trying to make it easier drinking. Easy drinking. Hence yeah. the session owl idea. This one, you said just like, yeah, they just kind of, they nailed it. We're just going to make it this way, and we're just going to drop the uh, alcohol content, and that's what makes it a session. It is. It's very sessionable. It, yeah. it certainly is. Yeah, they definitely nailed this. At least in my opinion, this is the kind of session ale that I would go for. It gives me the bitterness that I want. Mm. It doesn't give me the all of the alcohol that yeah. I sometimes probably don't want or need. Yeah. That I'm going to go with I don't need Yeah, exactly. if I that, feel like having a few more. But it's just, it gives me a nice flavor. I'm definitely going to return to this. I was, so I've had it on tap, but we, we've both had it on tap. Um, one point I'll say about it being on tap, it does seem more bitter in a can, yeah. more fruity on tap. Um, that could come down to the aroma stuff that apparently people keep saying to us is uh, half the taste, half the flavor comes from smelling the beer. But what would we know? So, yeah, we don't. <laughs> We're not here to be professional. <laughs> no. We're, We're just here to drink beer and, um, and share it with you guys and... They, yeah, they, they well, yeah, them. very happy to share this one with you because it is delicious. Yeah. Yep, it's um, um, so uh, they're a really cool brewery too. Uh, being, just being on the website and checking it out, they really seem to encompass that Queensland spirit yeah, of yeah. just like it's just so, it's so Queensland. Mm. Everything to do with this. Uh, when I was up at Brewumba, I actually went to their uh, their beer college, which was like an hour kind of feature, and they brought out a few different. Um, drinks a limited release actually, which I don't know will still be if it'll still be around by the time this comes out. Uh, was called the Long Story. That was made with apple juice instead of water. That was one of the most unique beers I've ever tasted. Mm. Uh, I remember you much. telling me about that. Yeah. So if you see that around, get it, give it a try. Um, but the uh, I'm assuming it was a brewer. I can't remember how he introduced himself or whatever. I had a few beers in hand at that point. <laughs> um, but uh, my favorite quote from the whole event was, when you stead, we'll fucking do it. So if you don't like swearing, maybe you'll beat that. I don't know. I probably won't. No. What? Because it's 18 plus content. That's why. It sure is. But yeah, uh, that definitely comes across in this. Like we've said about session hours generally being a bit different to this. It's just like they've said, you know what? We're going to make a full flavored, a full flavored session. bitter session hour and we're not going to care. Yeah. It's I'm definitely a do. fan of that full flavored mm. mid. Uh, oh, the sure. only other one that I've come across that's another popular one is the Little Creatures Rogers, mm -hmm. which we'll probably get on the show really yeah. soon as well. Probably. Wow, that's some inside knowledge ah, there. Whoa. Wow. I'm always keen to try more mid strengths that offer me a full flavor. Yeah, that is. And we've, we've said it plenty through this episode already, and I'm going to keep saying it, and that's exactly what I say when I pour it for people. It's full flavor. It's not like a lot of mid-strengths. You don't lose anything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's wicked. So, Corey, tell us about where you ranked it and why. How did that feel? How did that feel? Oh, I, I don't know. There wasn't really much thought to it. Other than I really liked that it was bitter. 
And I also really like that it is a lower alcohol percentage. Um, yeah. So I would just really like that I could, you know, have a couple of these. If I say if I went to a party and still wanted to drive home, I could take three of these. Whereas a lot of other things that give me a full flavor, I could basically have one of. There you go. And would have to go home. So I really like that fact. And how's that for, for insight, guys? Um, that is, um, Corey, I appreciate you opening up to us like that. Delivering um, such honest, yeah. open it's, and no, integral points. It's it's wonderful, actually. Um, especially someone like yourself uh, doesn't really open up on these kinds of topics. Yeah. And it's it's really good that you felt comfortable enough with us today. I definitely did. Um, so we'll turn over to Shane now. Hey. Here he is. <laughs> What's, the man What's up? What's up? Um, yeah, yeah, so yours is... Uh, Fourth. It's fourth. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it took off it took just, over the goose uh session IPA. Yeah. Um I don't know. I just it's a better look, the reason mine's above the goose is I think it's a better session. I enjoy it. I I would probably enjoy having this more than the uh Goose Island session. Strangely enough, that's why I ranked it above it. Isn't that weird? Crazy. Wow, what a what a world we live the in. The thing that was better than the <laughs> other thing Beat was ranked it was ranked higher above it. Yeah. Um, that is groundbreaking unusual concepts but we're really about that you groundbreaking kind of work you are truly profound yeah. in what you do I'm an innovator is that enough bullshit for one episode or <laughs> <laughs> I think so <laughs> yeah it's, that's never enough yeah I think it's I a, think it's a better session I'm not sure if this okay. was say a full strength beer would I like it as much or would I just be like this is a good amount of bitterness for the amount of but if it was a full strength getting. beer do you reckon it'd be more like the Black Ops Beetlejuice no <laughs> I no, mean, the, the level of bitterness, I mean, do you reckon they would would have upped that uh, to, be, to be more to your uh, more bitter to my lining, And no. it would go lower for me then. Yeah, it would. Um, it's, uh, a, it's third. It's third on mine. It's third for you. I like my color palette up the top there. I was just saying to Corey before. I think if, XP, if the XPA on my ranking board was above the Goose, then this would be below the XPA. But because XPA was below Goose, this went above them both. Okay. Yeah. So I the think math checks out. Maybe I made a mistake one day, but I don't know. I didn't taste the bolter properly. I had a cold. Yeah. There's only yeah, yeah. There's only so much you can taste when you are feeling ill. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I I honestly think the reason that this is so impressive is because it is a mid strength. Mm. Yeah, and that's really the big take home. Yeah, thing well for that me. Is, yeah that is definitely why it's up there for me as well because like we keep saying it's like, a great mid strength good... with full flavor. Oh, what a, yeah, I, we're definitely talking it up a lot. There's not much else you can really say about it's the beer. It's really though. deserving of this. Yeah. It's a great beer. Yep. It's one you could session on. It's one you could have a few of. And if you're on your open license and feeling okay to do it, you could still drive home. Mm. Supposing you've, that you've had yeah. two in your first hour and one in every hour afterwards, because yes. that would be a very responsible way to do that. That would, uh, you know what? That's almost something that could be recommended. Yes. Um, I'd also look into maybe body types. You know, how, body types. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how good your metabolism is. Well, maybe have something to eat. Yeah, um, have some in that water. Scenario. Yeah, yeah. And then I think but, you'd be pretty right. Now, nah, cheers. Uh, the porters and the plain them bottom up. Hooking right, us up with yeah, these. Hooking us up with these. We'll see you next week when we review another beer. Ooh. Until then, ding. Cheers.